What's up guys, Jeff Cavalier, AthleanX.com. We're going to show you today an exercise that hits both the biceps and the chest in one shot, but we do it in a functional way. Now, for those that have watched my channel for a while, you know that I like to stay away from the non-functional versions of exercises. Why? Because they don't allow muscles to, that prefer to work together to train together. And yes, there is a synergy between the biceps and the chest, and we're going to actually bring that together in this one exercise. It's going to resemble a concentration curl, but you know that I hate that exercise. I hate it because there's no real functional carryover. You basically have a guy sitting here on the bench, his hand could he look like the thinker for crying out loud, here and he does his curl, straight curl for the biceps. Why do that when we can actually make a variation here that's more explosive, that carries over to things that we might actually do in an athletic setting? Well, we've got it here with this version. So what we want to do is focus on, we know that the chest will adduct across the body, adduct our arm across the body. You have seen, if you haven't, you want to watch this video over here where we target the upper inner chest. I talk about it all the time, the two different areas. We can hit it with this one exercise that I show you here, but we can also make it a little bit more explosive and again, bring the biceps in by changing our angle. First and foremost, we're in a forward position that allows us to get to an athletic position. Our low back is set. Our legs are loaded, number one. From here, so our, our low back should be working the entire time. From here, we don't just curl. We actually bring the, uh, the arm across the body into adduction. As we do that, once we bring it across, we then try to finish the move by curling at the top, okay? So in slow motion here, it's across the body, as high as I can bring it, then from there, finish the movement by curling up to the top. Do it more explosive, and I'll show you the carryover. Again, low back is set, arm is here. Bring it across and finish at the top. Across and finish at the top. And then finish. So the move as high as I can go with a straight arm and then finish it with the curl. Now, again, we're getting that inner, the chest to do what it wants to do, which is to add up the cross without having to put our arm in this position that I always talk about with flies that I don't really like, the risk reward out there, not necessary when we can still get that adduction. Where's the carryover? Guys, from my baseball background, one of the most important things is first step explosiveness to steal second base or to run wherever you're going. When you're here, you clear out on the front side, you drive across with the back arm. This will bring your leg with it, you get a much more explosive first step. We're teaching you to be explosive, to drive, to use the muscles that prefer to work together. As I said, the bicep and the chest will work together when we're up, you know, throwing punches, running, everything. So let's do it that way here, bring it across and step. That exercise can help you to become more explosive. And it's just another example, guys, if you want to look like an athlete, you got to start training like those guys. Start training more explosively. Start letting muscles that prefer to work together to start doing it starting today. You can do that by heading to athleanx.com right now, grabbing a 90-day training program, and seeing what it's like to train like an athlete. Let me coach you every single workout. All right, guys. If you haven't already, let me know what else you'd like to see. Leave your comments below, and I'll keep bringing these videos to you uh, three times a week now. Thanks, guys.